Hello again. Today uh, I'm out with my friend Darren and uh, we came out to the Cedar Creek Grist Mill. It's this old grist mill um, that is really picturesque, covered bridge and a, a great uh, creek that comes through. And I have never ever, uh, I've been coming here every single year, several times a year, and I have never seen the water this high. We had a, uh, like a flash flood warning yesterday with all the rain that was coming in. And it is just uh, lifted the amount of water in this creek. Huge. It's, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. <laughs> but I'm sure I could come away with a photograph or two from here because it's just, it's gorgeous. I'm going to walk around, take a look, and uh, see if I can find a composition and tell you about it. I found, I think I found my first composition today. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me over the water. Uh, it's really loud even just standing here. But um, if hopefully the back of the camera is coming through all right. Vertical shot. The river is going to be uh, the creek's exiting on my bottom left. And I've got these great moss-covered trees that are reaching over the top with all of the fall color. And you've, uh, I've zoomed in. I had to get out my 24 to 105 wide angle brings in too much of the sky which is just gray whiteness and I wanted to zoom in to uh, to eliminate as much of that sky as I can so I'm at about 50 millimeters or so it also helps keep the uh, the river in check so it's not as it's not as big it's focusing in on a smaller section of the river this would be just this is just way too wide I think uh, unless something was really epic back there and it's it's a lot of green back here and then as you can see with a wide angle you got all that white sky not good so now it's just a matter of dialing in the shutter speed for the look of the water it's a lot so I am like looking at a 20th of a second let me see where I was a lot uh, 15th 20th of a second uh, ISO 320 f11 and uh, I'm gonna have to try to probably push that in, in post-processing because I'm still underexposed a lot. So I'm gonna play around with the shutter speed uh, and so I have multiple choices when I get back on the computer. Again, you don't wanna just take one and think it looks good on the back of the camera because when you get back, eh, it might be sad. So I'm gonna take a few and uh, if the shot comes out, I'll show it to you right now. So this is pretty much my next uh, composition. This is the classic shot from the bridge. Uh, it's just too, if you look over here on the right hand side, you can kind of slide down on your butt to get down there. But the problem is all of that greenery gets in your way because it hasn't died off yet. So the best shot, I think for, you know, at this, at this time with all of the fall color back there is, a, you know, is right here. So, F16 ISO 100 in a full second on the uh, exposure because I think I like the streaks of the water coming down the, uh, the river more than having it, uh, it with a faster shutter speed up where I was. One second would have just made it solid white, but here it provides these really nice streaks and I like it a lot. But I'm still going to take some at a slightly faster shutter speed again so that I can check it when I get home. Uh, the other thing is I'm having to... Uh, to uh, shutter speed stack we've talked about this before because there is hopefully you can see it on the video down here there is a lot of those uh, leaves are blowing in the because of the water movement it's a lot of wind and that's going to cause blurry leaves and I definitely don't want that 
So I'm up in the shutter speed to about a 40th of a second to freeze that motion, dropping my, uh, uh, opening my aperture to F8, and then taking and upping my ISO wherever I need to in order to get a, get a shot. And then I will just mask in those blurry areas with the uh, the good shot of it frozen with a faster shutter speed so it won't be too hard to do that so i'm going to get this shot and if it turns out or even if it doesn't you'll get to see it right now if you'd like to see how i blended these two images together let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like and subscribe